one sweet sugar bowl, Coach. Yo, Paterno's still talking in his sleep. Yeah. What about Kenny Pine? You gonna be there? Kenny felt that everyone who was there at the start should have been invited or he didn't want to come. Morning, Mary Harmon. Pete, you boys be safe. Always. My destination is a real fly spec, Coach. What's going on in Junction, Texas? Oh, reunion. Bunch of survivors. No kidding. War vets? Yeah. It's all gonna be a lot easier to get up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what time's your land? Will you shake his hand or kiss his ring? <laughs> There's a plane. <laughs> I think I smell victories. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't mention me to a frog. will be gagging for an hour. Why? He done Kentucky. He don't have to play second fiddle to no shady basketball program no more. He's probably as happy as a boy sweet hate. Well, let's just get the man out of this wind before he realizes this isn't Lexington. Well, we're Lexington. Bayer's ours now. You think the T-Sips in Austin ain't nervous? <laughs> They're not nervous if he decides to take that Arkansas job. He is on the plane, isn't he? Where's the outhouse? Cold Schmeyer playing shirts anytime you need it, night or day. We'll be plugging you into the best high school kids in the state. We know what it takes to recruit. What it takes to cash. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have you and Mary Harmon dancing at Texas two step in no time, coach. Leave everything to us. Find out. Who's that jackass? Dwayne Hess, president of the Gridiron Club. Matter of fact, these boys on the team. Speaking for the chancellor, coach, we're real excited to have you. And when the kids come back in the fall, you're gonna have 120 student athletes suited up. Can any of them play? We got 19 returning lettermen. You were what last year? Four, five, and one. I promise you this much, Coach. Every player we got is going to be working his butt off this summer to make your team. All right. Your breakfast is ready. I have to go. Go. Go where? Earl's picking me up. We're going to Houston for the day. He wants me to meet the vendor for the restaurant food. There he is. He thinks he might make me the assistant manager. If I keep growing, I'd make 50 cents more an hour than waitressing. Dad call? No. He's still in Shreveport. Some drilling deal. Oh, and Mr. Wilcox left his car out front and $20 on the dining table. Isn't that a lot to wash a car? Not if you're a by God Texas Aggie quarterback born and bred. You heard the word? Bear Bryant's our new head coach. <laughs> no kidding, they got him to sign. Hello, Cotton Bowl. Huh. And look who's gonna lead the charge. 
the Lufkin stud. Come here. I want to tell you something. My buddies in College Station are saying you could be number one QB on the death chart, son. My money's on you, and you get to school. Just take care of business. I'll take care of your mama. Come on, Miss Sunshine. We're late. Have I told you how proud I am of you? They're done by noon. Quarter apiece, right? Deal. Little bandits. Hi, Mr. Hines. Hey, Joyce. You looking pretty? Thanks. Johnny? I thought you were going to meet me at Walderson's. That was today? At 9 a.m.? Ladders are a little hard for Dad. I wanted to help him out before I left for school. I'm sorry. I understand. But November 14th's right around the corner. At least the store let me take their book. Wedding invitations take two weeks, Johnny. And if I hear Mama one more time say you've got once to get this right. Okay. Okay, let's pick one. Oh, that's nice. Well, I got this one. Oh. It's like mom and dad's. Johnny, phone, long distance. Dig it, high end, you heard? A new coach is Bear Bryant. Really? Who we got Bear Bryant, Dad? <laughs> is Gearheart now? My next call. Another one. Coyotes got to it. All right, let's go bury the damn thing. That calf ain't going nowhere, Dad. We need to fix that fence in the north section or we'll lose what's left of the short horns. Them short horns ain't going nowhere in this drought, what's left of them. I don't want to come home tonight smelling that dead carcass all over the house. We can leave Pablo do this. Did I stutter? Well, what you know? You're playing for the bear. Shit. Somebody should have told the idiot there ain't no girls at that school. He won't be recruiting nothing but country boys, Indians, and queer. <laughs> care what UT is offering a kid. You tell that boy to step out on his porch by four today cause there's gonna be an airplane raining dollars down. In fact, by noon, you leave an A&M bucket on his porch. Is that a knock or you humping a keyhole? Coach, <laughs> the athletic director's office sent me. I'm Walter Colbert. I've been the head trainer here the last six years. And? Well, uh, I have a degree in kinesiology, one of six licensed trainers in Texas. And I started sun up, finish at night. I love Texas A&M. I'd love to work for you. Why don't I make it uh, short and sweet, Walt? I want no man with a degree in kinesiology messing with my football players. I don't need a fella telling him what's wrong with him. I need a guy to dunk him in the whirlpool, stick him back out on the field. Now, I heard about you, doctor. You sit players with hip pointers for two weeks. You got ten minutes to clear your shit out of my locker room. Ten more to get off campus. 
I'll mail you your last check. Next moron! Normally I'd tell a coach from the previous staff to go straddle the goat, but I need a recruiter. And you look like the one assistant who might just not wet himself at a church social. Let me ask you. John David Crow, cleaner in spring water. Can we get him to come to Texas A&M? I think he could... Thank? I don't want people to thank. Just answer the damn question. Yes, sir. It will happen. All right. Coach Bryant, did you want to see a Mr. Dwayne Hess this morning? Oh, Coach. I just stopped by to pick up my season tickets. Uh-huh. Well, listen here. I bet the Mayor Austin 500 bucks we'd stay within 21 of the Longhorns this year. Of course, we gotta start Billy Ray Morris. That the plan? My plan? My plan is to start you at fullback against UT. How about that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, ain't no need for that. You already got the right hands in the lineup. You was. Mike's gonna tear some longhorn ass this year. Giga Maggie. There you see right there. That's a sweet. I ain't never seen players this bad. Half of them are smaller than monkeys, cojones. The other half are slower than smoke off shit. We line these boys up in September. I may have to use one bullet to shoot them all. Where do they get these turds? I've been signing up over 100 boys every year for the last four years. If you're a high school kid in this state and your daddy's an Aggie, or your daddy knows an Aggie, Coach George would give him a free ride. Well, some bitch. Under that theory, you might as well hire the next bait bucket to walk through that door. <laughs> oh, no. He found it. I was hoping this bus had crashed between here and Lexington. <laughs> Me and Mr. Salmash have been having us a long talk. Yeah. <laughs> He's full of stink bait, all right. 90 proof. Who's that? Smokey Harper, our trainer. You're kidding. Been with the coach 16 years. The quicker listen to Smokey than any of us. Oh, look at that. We can, we can get pushed oh, back. Oh, for God's sakes. Number 35, who is that fairy? Claude Gearhart, inconsistent, plus he quit a couple times last season. Offspring of meddling jock sniffers. Turn it off, coach. We start practice in a month. We got to find a team. And it ain't going to be from their mangy seed. It helps on the way. We nailed John Crow, and I like our freshman. We ain't doing that, Deacon. Doing what? Making excuses. Well, all I said was our freshman ain't eligible to next year. No. One bad year and the snowball starts. I'm going to tell you all something right now. I will not lose. <clears throat> What's the name of that brick of a linebacker again? Gearhart. Yeah. Quit twice. Now, what does that say to me? Coach Ray George let that little pissant come back twice. I didn't work my peck of raw at Maryland and Kentucky to come here and die in this miserable cow college. These fat cats been running the show for a long time. They might come unglued. Let me tell you something. I grew up selling vegetables door to door with my mama to these same kind of people. I took their pennies. But by God, I didn't take anything else off them. Not then, not now. Hug your kids goodbye, boys. We're torching the barn and killing the rats. So he starts working with these hillbilly boys, and in no time he's 60 and 23. And that's in Kentucky. Jeez, if it doesn't sail through a hoop in Kentucky, they don't even get out of bed. Make sure your friends remember November 2nd. They don't rent their tuxes by then. It's just a disaster. Right. Tell your folks I can get them gear hard sticks for the first game if they want. I doubt it. You know, Daddy in sports. Oh, but don't forget he set a meeting for you with his friend in the business school. The thing is, honey, I'm not sure I want to be a CPA. Can 
wait to be married. Come back next weekend. Please. I can't. I gotta make the team. Your uncle called. Just to remind you, he had to score four touchdowns this year to beat his record. I tried to get his old number, 81. But Charlie Watts had dips. I'm gonna play hard for Uncle Ralph. For all of y'all. Son, just play for yourself. That's good enough for us. What was bail? 200. I'm surprised you had cash. I don't anymore. What are you all gussied up for? I'm going back to school. Thought that was Tuesday. It is Tuesday. So you're off again. So I paid Pablo the end of the month. With what I had left. Good. He's a good hand. Better than you. Yeah, well, you got me a lot cheaper. So long, Pop. Go on. Maybe that new coach will coddle you. I won't. I don't need you no more. I need that piss poor brother of yours. He lit out too. He's smarter than me. Little prick. I could whoop your ass six ways from Christmas. You had enough practice. Good luck in Aggieville. God knows you ain't good enough to play for Texas. College Station ain't much further, son. You sure you can afford to stop? Man, go take care of business, sir. All right, take care. Thanks. Hey, darling. Why, Skate Cheney, I believe you left something behind last time. That's okay, Rhonda. I came back again. I've been waiting for you. Have you got something for me? Got it right here in my pocket, baby. I ain't talking about your pig in a blanket, Skeet. Where's my money? What? You owe me two dollars from last May. And I've been working like a mule all summer. So have I. And the University of Texas still wants my fall tuition in two weeks. I don't have a football scholarship. I got some money coming, but right now, I... I ain't got but two fifty. The price is three dollars, and you know it. Every time you come here, you try and cut my right. Baby, please. I've been dreaming of you all summer. And we always made music together. Here, Hart. You look like a pregnant whore. Bear 
Bryce gonna hang your hide on fence posts by any two days. Uh, why don't you check a mirror, num nuts? Next to you, I'm Marlon Brando. <laughs> Watch with the buses. Beats me. Coach wants everybody in the dorm on the double. Come on, boy. Boys, it's a new day. Whatever weenie roast you thought you were coming to, the plan's changed. We're going on a trip. Don't bother unpacking. Bus is leaving 15 minutes. One more thing. Don't call and tell anyone we're leaving campus. When we get where we're going, you'll have time to write your mamas and papas. Texas Tech in three weeks. What's this shit? Who cares? Maybe just like camp. Get us out of five minutes to two days, man. It's fine by me. Cheer up, Haynes. I'm gonna thank you, Hogs and Lion, after every one of my touchdowns. <laughs> How long do you think before the good old boys find us? Weeks. Hines, you can't play tackle. You're a slave to love. Yes, the only love slave you ever had is hate. <laughs> I thought these buses were air conditioned. Well, they are. Can't you tell? Oh. <laughs> Where's the grass? All I see is sand and cactus. Well, they're four years in the drought out here. You didn't say nothing about no drought. Man, that's the fourth straight bridge with no water underneath. Where are we head, Morocco? Yeah, where are we going? We're gonna drive around for like two hours straight. This is bullshit. Just ask Coach what's up. I mean, someone could ask, right? You're the quarterback, Meatloaf. Excuse me, coach. Got a question. Well, not me, some boys. Where are we headed? We're going to Junction. Good, thanks. Some place called Junction? Junction? Shit! I spent all summer at Junction. Well, what is it, a reform school? <laughs> no, you damn shit, it's an auxiliary campus. Freshman orientation, brain amps, stuff like that. It's where he jacked up his grades to get eligible. <laughs> I am. Junction is full of girls like skinny dip in the river. Whoa, whoa, what river? These creeks are so dry, the catfish got ticks. South Lano River, spring fed, runs all year. Hey, hell with the river. What girls? Man, I'm telling you. Town's got more beautiful ladies than a pie fi pledge dance. <laughs> <laughs> I met a date with Miss Wolf. Miss Wolf? It's a big deal, you hate. She's like the Miss America, of West Texas. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, Dungeon, Texas. Ice the beer and turn up the music. snakes. Oh, 
told me to stop this. Nah. Let the little pecker heads go. They'll be too tired tomorrow to fart. MGR! Which one of these shacks? Mine. A hut number one, sir. It's a little warm in there, coach. You think? The radio says it's 114 degrees. I called the local hardware. They got one fan left. I'll drive into town and get it for you. Never mind that. I ain't gonna be the only one with a fan. Look here. I need you boys to make me a goal post. Any old thing. Just one down at the end of the field. And clear these rocks and cactus off. We need a place to play some football. Well, you heard him? You never pulled boulders off a football field before? Please don't tell me you're calling Joyce already. I'm all right, my uncle. He's pretty excited about Bear Bryant. I called him on the name of some bear. My uncle says Coach got his name resting a bear for money at a carnival. <laughs> Coach whooped it, but I guess the bear chewed off a piece of his ear. Probably a poison the animal. <laughs> This corn is sweeter than my wife's perfume. Geez, why she use it? <laughs> Where'd you get that steak, Cass? There's a grill outside, man. We're eating high on the hall. Hey, grab me a Dr. Pepper, man. Hey, speaking of nibbling airs, let's shoot in town tomorrow night after practice gear. Get ourselves some tail. Hey, what's the name of that beauty queen in Johnson? Clarice Gerber. Clarice Gerber. You're, you're kidding. You're gonna call me school? Sooner than later, brother. Sheep has to be clipped. <laughs> Dang, this place gonna be fun. from the manager. First team gets maroon. You mean we're gonna practice in the dark? No, oh, no, no. We're gonna practice till it gets dark. Come on up! Yeah, yeah. Here it comes. Hold on, man. Yeah. Boys, I don't care who your daddy is. I don't care what all-conference bullshit you were in high school. I don't care what the last coach promised you. Y'all been farting up wind too long. We're going to work now. Coaches, gassers. Line up! Box it down! Hear them gassers, boys! Move! Do you wind sprints before breakfast? I said move! Right. 
Hey, what's wrong now, boy? Use your other hand. Bam! Get your feet up! Get your feet up! Let's go! Get up! Get up! Get up! Come on! Get up! Not during practice. Two teams on the football field, and we're going to be the only ones left standing in the fourth quarter. Come on, Luke, get it out of here. Get out of here. Put your helmet in. Come on. Drive, drive, drive. Move out. Damn, boy. That piece still got color. You got a long way to go. Okay, it's breakfast. You're back at one o'clock. Oh, yeah. How can we do this? Your legs hurt too much, man. I think it's broke. I think it's broke. Gee, what are they? Oh. Goat heads. When did God put thorns in golf balls? Yeah. Smoke! Yeah. Oh, what's shape? Old yeah. wings kill him, Smoke. Can't take a chance on ruining my thorn arm. Go and get some ice from the kitchen. Spend the rest of the afternoon in the whirlpool. Oh. Give it all away, son. You gonna need gas for this afternoon. Yes, sir. It's that time of year. We got ourselves a rag weight. Thinks she's a flower. Information, please. Gerber resident. Coach wants to see you. Which coach? Coach Brian. You want to see me, coach? Yeah. What's this? That'd be a bus ticket home. I believe you want to get out of here. <sighs> Must be some mistake. It's just a training thing. Got a sore arm. Aside from the fact that we're likely to throw the ball maybe twice in a decade, there's something you ought to know. I was an end at Bama. Played four quarters against Tennessee, dragging a broken leg. Now, what is this shit about an elbow? Come on! We're going to work! He's going to cook us in this oven. <laughs> You don't know how to whip a block? Give me a three-point stand. Come on, get back. Blow the whistle, coach. 
That's how you do it. Son, you have got to get down low underneath your man and straighten him up. Now I am sick and tired of this playing grab ass. I haven't seen hitting all day. Watch, you puke. Why is your hat off? And you, Gerhardt, you hit like a queer. I ain't done with you, boy. Get down there, a four point six. Go on. Pine. Where's Kenny Pine? Get in there. All right, you drive him, Gerhardt. You put him down. What is your problem, Pine? Fuck a couple of pansies. I see more fighting a mouse trap. Now let him go. The most hitting I've seen out of these butterflies all day. What was that? Son, you got that much juice left in you, then we ain't working you hard enough. Give me 20 laps. I got a one-way ticket for you out of here any old time you're ready. Move, boy. Southwest here. Yeah. We burn. Not a chance. The bastard's just like my old man. Yeah, well, your old man ain't won 66 football games. He knocked you to Tucson. You like that? Hurt like hell. I bet it did. But you know what? He was right. I stood Morris up. Moved him around like Grandma's China all afternoon. You can't quit gear. What's Oregon got that we don't? Besides water trays and women. Come on, man. You was born to play football. I don't care what paper's calling. Which mama's crying. No visitors. We gotta hunker down here, boys. Ah, poor as dirt once. I'm damned if I come back to that. And one more thing. Any of these boys sticks his nose in your face ready for a fight, you whip his ass! Well, you get ready to fight me. Smokey! What? Why are the lights still on in your store? Because we're still treating 13 kids? Half of them flat on their backs. Bullshit! That's what the bunks are for. You know, a couple of them might ought to see a doc. I didn't make my daddy see a doctor his whole life. Mortal sin to him. What? We don't need to see a doc! Shut the place up. Fine. I can use the drink. Yes! 
going Grab your jocks! Where am I? Bible camp. Get ready to repent. Hurry up, Hess. You sleep, I couldn't sleep. They tell me, last night, some of y'all snuck off for home. You know what I call those boys? Cowards. Anybody wants to quit, you by God come and see me. I'll give you a bus ticket and a peanut butter sandwich. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go! <laughs> Hit Gerhard! Take that jersey off and give it to Meeks! Hell's bells, we need warriors on the second team, not cowgirls! Meeks disappeared. Good. Damn ballerina anyway. Hey, you get in there for Gerhard. Jenny, again, 22 counter. Serves you right, Henshaw, for getting married. All your football's running out the end of your prick. Take him out. Someone's taking off. Come on. Jesus, has dessert and shit. Well, he's all man may call out the National Guard. They'll never find us. <sighs> Mike was never going to pay the price. Besides, you can outrun him any day. Run, yeah. My pretty pink ass needs blockers. Eat shit, Chaney. <laughs> that time of month, must be. Some of you think I don't know what I'm doing. On the field, doesn't matter what I know, it's what you know. Bleed him and gut him, let's go! All right, T-16 keeper. T-16 keeper on one. Ready? Some kind of dance they do in Lufkin. We don't skate here, we hit. Huddle up. Son, it's getting pretty clear to me that you want the fame without the sweat. Not on this team. And the next time I catch you waving your press clippings at a tackler, you can just pack your act back to East Texas. You understand? Yes, sir. All right. T-11 reverse. T-11 reverse, all one. Ready? team like that your mama my mama's dead coach so is your football pissant show me some hidden huddle up hit somebody ready g18 option
Okay, Skeet. Ah. Come on, bring the stretcher. Ah, oh, what now? Okay, buddy. Okay, hold still. Get that carp off this field. If he ain't back in practice this afternoon, ship his butt back to College Station. All right, slowly. Slow. Slow. Ah. All right. Oh. That's the way to hit, son. Get out of here, Garrett. Let's fix up a room for this young man. Uh, no traction yet. Now look, sir. Coach Brown expects us back immediately. With him. I haven't even developed the x-rays yet. Coach Brian's not the patient here. Boy could have a serious problem. Need to stay here, son. You'll like it. We got air conditioning, football can wait. Football might wait. I don't reckon Coach Bryant will. Thanks anyway, Doc. <sighs> you wouldn't be Miss Wood, would you? Do you know anybody who's actually been allowed out to the adjunct since these kids arrived? No. the other way, sir. <laughs> you act like a damn pre-med kid. I am. <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> this yelling's gonna break my hearing aid. Let's go, boys! Ski. 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 Man, I'm really sorry. Hey. No problem, man. You say one of those here's from Texas, huh? Cheney, it's about time. Get in there for Bowman. Who are you? Uh, Dr. John Wiedemann? I got no need for a house call. Yes, you do. The deuce space narrowed, probably a rupture. There's cracks in the transverse processes here and here. The boy's back is injured in three places. Yeah, bangs and bruises happen in football. He ought to be in a hospital, coach. He's quarterback, not a patient. You should know there's two reporters in town on your scent. Not to mention a herd of riled Aggies. Are you gonna put us all off? Drink. Thank you. Take it here. Mom, get yours too. 
Mail call. Shiny, one for you. Henshaw. Morris. From Omaha. Pines. The jackpot. Ogilvy. That's it, boys. Can't seem to keep anything down. Hey, Johnny. This ski day is so good. We got to do something. Didn't he say Smoky? Well, Smoky told him to get in the whirlpool. I'm going to talk to Coach Bryant. Ask him to hold out skate another day. Skate's tough. If... Listen, it ain't worth it. Well, how can you play football? You can't even stand up straight. Coach, cut me for sure if I'm not out there tomorrow. Oh, hell, this ain't the Korean front. <laughs> Carries a flag of Lufkin. That's what my high school coach said. Mom says I'm the lucky star in the paper. I want to warn me so I wouldn't be embarrassed. Half football. I'm not the most shiftless wildcatters kid. Nobody from nowhere. Ain't no one counting on a crazy coach. <laughs> he ain't no wrong. I ain't had work for nothing my whole life. <laughs> but if I bomb out here, I hate to think how folks in Lufkin will treat me. Oh, my mama. I'm out going to die at the junction. No one's going to die. We're going to win. Hmm? Coach is the real thing. Better than the stuff we get around here. <laughs> we know you've seen a lot of our boys, Doc. And cramps, busted noses, whatnot. And we appreciate your help. We figure you got your job and we got ours. I've seen a lot worse than cramps, including dehydration. We're in the middle of the worst drought we've ever seen. My job is to warn you, Coach. Every day you practice in this heat with no water breaks, you're endangering lives. These boys don't play balls out, they're endangering my life. Coaching the Southwest Conference ain't for no amateurs. Yeah, but going all day in this weather is insane. I respect your feelings. Here's mine. These boys have to practice. No practice, no game. There ain't nobody holding a gun to their heads. They're here because they want to be. I ain't God. But you are to them. You'd better be God if you're going to decide life or death for these kids. Boys, eye openers. Johnny here. Uh, 
Aspirin? Well, what you want? A mountain vacation? <laughs> Damn, witch doctor? We ain't cattle. You help my buddy. Come on now. I have Luke stop at the drugstore. Get some bullshit for the dry heat. Telling off Smokey Harper. What you said? You said it for a lot of us. Brought you some chow, Johnny. Not hungry. Man, you gotta eat something. What is it? Chili. It's chili. Come on, come on, let's go. Ugh. Allison Carlisle are running. I could see it in Carlisle's eyes at supper. Uh, it's not so bad. Oh, no. No. Bear Bryant runs the best resort in Texas. I'd be curious to know what you call bad. My dad got shot down over Kwajalein. His parachute fouled. He had a palm grove at 80 mile an hour. Broke both hips, tore off his arm. He was a Japanese prisoner for two years. Wasn't seen by a single doctor till the day he was liberated. Missing a few boys. Good. Now we can get to work. Let's go, come on. Move it. Let's go. Go. Hustle go. back that line of scrimmage. Quit talking it. Right. You don't sit. And I'm Joyce. Johnny, hustle it up. Come on. Get up. Who is it? Get this turd off my field and out of my sight now. Loop mace. Get up, damn it. Marsha Dale. Hope this 300 beats a minute. Is that a record? What's that mean? It means he's dying. Get him, 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 get him,
Boom! Come on! Hey! Come on! That's the trainer's job! One in the back! In the back! Come on, man! Come on! Come on! Back on the field, you two! Let's go and start this thing! Come on! I'm warning you! I'm going! You stay skate. Drive fast! Hang on, Johnny. Almost there. Doctor, we'll see you now. Fine. Come here. Ah. We need the doctor. He fell over at practice. He was throwing up. Come on. That ice we stored. Now. So why is he face purple? Cheat stored. Is he gonna die? Wake up, Tanny! Better, Cheney. His pulse is slowing. Was that good? Yeah. You can't be serious. You ought to be in the hospital at least three days. Johnny, listen to him. Does he understand? Well, he understands Coach Bryant gets mad if his boys don't eat and sleep in camp overnight. You drink water night and day, okay? I can't say this any clearer. He is not out of the woods. This thing is dangerous. Now you tell Coach Bryant I'm ready to call the state. Practice tomorrow, Heinz. Drink water like the doc said. Then you get your butt back to practice. No faking. You understand? I'll be at tomorrow afternoon's practice, coach. Get some chow. That's it. Come on, man. Watch your step. Give me my damn bus ticket. I ain't surprised. You know, the first time you quit, it's hard. 
Second time gets easier. Then you know that, don't you? Third time, you don't even have to think about it. Let me tell you something. I got an old man who's beat my brother and me for 20 years. Hadn't been sober since heartache. He even told my mom one day she might ought to shoot herself. Which she finally did. And my old man's a preacher compared to you. You want out? Damn straight. Back against the wall? Way back, pal. Well, your back's gonna be against the wall a lot in life. Might as well get used to it. You know, I was beginning to think you weren't the worst football player in Texas. You sanctimonious son of a bitch! You damn near killed my friend! He ain't quitting. Yeah, you fix that. A guy won't leave, you run him off in a coffin. I never run a player off. That's a decision they make. I have been straight with you boys since the start. The price of winning is high. So if you want to run off on me, you can. What about them? It's crazy. Damn crazy. Be thirsty. It's for Johnny Haynes. Huh. He'll be peeing in his sleep all night. Look, Doc's pretty concerned. I think he called Haynes' parents. What for? Doc said, once you've had a heat stroke, odds go up you're going to have another. Bigger. If he strokes, we throw him in a whirlpool. Cool him off. His mama ain't got nothing to worry about. You call her up. You tell her. No, sir. That's going to be your job. Well, it's a good thing I didn't have to treat that boy. The only ice I got around here is for my John Barleycorn. Hold on, Toby. Tell him Stacy was still alive. Look at that little pecker. At least a few of them had the guts to come and face me. Bastards running like a damn jailbreak. I didn't know we had any boys with that kind of speed. Well, I'm hitting the rack. I'm gonna dream me dream about Bonnie Ann Mills back in Lexington. Smoke. This ain't working out like it did back in Kentucky. So many of them quit, I can't even keep track. What is the difference? Is it the kids? Is it me? Why do you think they just disappear? Don't even bother to look you in the eye. Lack of respect. <sighs> well? Fear. They're scared to death of you. They ought to be. Back in Arkansas, you used to tell me about how it was when you was a boy. Yeah, that story about how you lost your job picking cotton when you was nine, because your hands got all blistered. You said you knew your daddy was going to whoop your ass black and blue. You're scared to death of him. Remember? You got a point? No. Except... You ever sat down and wondered why you gotta be the meanest son of a bitch in the valley? Yeah. <sighs>
afraid of Coach Gilmore. Can you run it out, or you do 20 more? Today, son, today. This ain't no stroll in the park. Come on! Hold on, Coach. Everyone take an A. Take your hats off. You all know when you're ready to be your best. It's when you ain't got nothing left to fear. We came to Junction to find out who won play football. Well, you know who that is now. Johnny Haynes wants to play. Hell, he's played six different positions already. Skeet Cheney, he wants to play. He'll play with a broken back. Now, I know this ain't been no picnic. Some heat, a couple of stickers, fire ants. Smoking tells me y'all dropped some weight. But I will tell you one thing. You boys who are left, you are players. <clears throat> One heartbeat. And that is what we've been looking for ever since we arrived. The day we got one heartbeat. We got a team. Now, we ain't never, never gonna quit working. Y'all get a good night's rest. Be ready for practice tomorrow. Johnny, I had some bean soup. Johnny! Hey. Johnny! You okay, man? You okay? Hey, hey. What happened? I, I was riding Joyce, uh, trying to explain. She's pretty upset. And, uh... Here, I'm dead on my feet.
What's the date, Hines? You ought to be packing. We're heading back to College Station. That's great, Coach. Oh, just so you know, I'm planning on moving you back to N. Keep your head screwed on. Down the road, you got a good shot to start. Back to N. Mm-hmm. How about that? That's it, that's it. Uh, Coach, my folks had me over to Doc Wiedemann's place just now. The doc says my system is, is messed up from the heat stroke. Uh, they want me to lay out. Lay out? For six weeks or so. Well, hell, son, that's near half the season. Uh, I'll train all they let me. I can come back late October, they said. It's cooler then, and... No, no, uh, no. You can't play the season unless you practice now. That's the rule. You can't worry about one man. The team's a living man. Yes, sir. But, uh... My parents drove all night from Beaumont. They and Doc, well, they're not going to let me keep going. And, Coach, I'm a senior. I'm out of eligibility after this season. This is it. I'm sorry, son. I understand. Good luck, coach. I'm sorry. These boys, they got a hard football season ahead of them. It's a war. Coach, I know about war. Football. It's a sport. Dad. Hello, Ray. All aboard. This ain't right. The bastard's got to bend the rule. No, you're an Aggie football player more than any of us, man. He won't change. That's why he's going to lead Texas A&M out of the wilderness. If he's got a team left. You remember last season, Gear? We had no plan. Our idea of discipline was a regular Sunday night beer bust. Now look. Hell, I ain't never seen you better. Tougher. Both of you. I'm proud of you. It ain't fair, Johnny. It ain't. I may have to sit in the stands. The day you boys walk on a football field, beat the bejesus out of the Texas Longhorns. That's fair enough for me. Let's go. I'm coming! I'll see you back at campus. Beat the Longhorns, then we'll castrate them.
Came here with two buses, going home in one. How many? You rolled in with 111 kids. How many now? 35. You trim the dead wood coach just like you said. Bet your ass. Got rid of everlast pissing. They weren't all pissants. Well, maybe not all. We ended up with a cream. We ended up so beat to shit we could barely play the season. We were one and nine the year after Junction. Who cares what happened in 54 anyway? Two years later, we was headed into Austin. 8 0 and 1. With only eight boys left from Junction. But we whooped Texas, won the Southwest Conference for the first time in 15 years. Over whose back? In 1954, the biggest quitter was me. I quit in a hissy fit of Kentucky and Maryland before that. The Junction boys. I've had 25 years to figure it out. We is done. Coach, we'll be there in 10 minutes. Buckle up. Hoping you're in a good mood, Skeet. We sure hate to run gassers today. All the gassers will be running today to the bar, Skeet. <laughs> <laughs> Get on your coach. Claude Gerhardt. Coach. You come all the way down from Chicago? Well, God bless you. How many of them are there? Most of them, Coach. But not all of them. Not all. Oh, uh, look here. Uh, stick by me, would you? Um, uh, I'm, I'm scared I might forget someone's name. Coach. Uh, Coach, I'm sure you remember. Johnny Haynes. My oh God, I didn't know if you were gonna hit me or hug me. <laughs> Good to see you, Coach. Where you at, Johnny? What you doing? I'm a high school principal, and I coach a football team. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> I'd like to meet my wife, Isabel. Proud to meet you, sir. Coach Paul Bryan. Good to know you, ma'am. Good to know you. I just shook Perch in Charles' hand. I was damn glad his arm stayed on. <laughs> Remember old Smokey Harper trying to say Perch's shoulder in the wrong direction? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't get to Smokey's funeral. When was that, six or seven years ago? About Shame. He liked this. Deserving sour mash bourbon. <laughs> A few years ago, I was starting a savings and loan. Up north in Illinois. And I needed myself one major stockholder. Well, I called Coach Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I was that desperate. <laughs> well, it took me a while, but I finally got up the courage to ask him to buy 200 shares. I hear 
200 shares. <laughs> I'm sure I'm done for. <laughs> the coach says, Claude, I got more confidence in you than that. You give me a thousand. And coach, I didn't have much direction growing up. See, I'm who I am. Because of you. You gave us a priceless gift. And so now we got a gift for you. It ain't exactly priceless. <laughs> the boys pulling it up. <clears throat> Don't fumble. You're alive. <laughs> Skeet got this designed just for this occasion. We had to guess the size. I never had a team that I was so proud of because I never had so many boys that showed so much heart. And I needed to tell you that because I don't think that a day's gone by in my life where I didn't think about what happened here on this field 25 years ago. And I, I came here today to apologize to y'all. If somebody had done that to me, I think I would have quit. I surely do. Now he tells us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I have just felt so bad for so long about you boys, what I did, but... In fact, Claude, you know, I've been meaning to ask you about the dividends on those stock shares. Now, what exactly is six-tenths of a cent? What kind of coin is that? How are me and Mary Harmon ever going to retire, son? 